Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be welding out the entryway, also making 45 cuts on our main horizontal piece of this eight inch entryway that I've been working on. Straight cuts though, not saddled as compared to last week's video. If you haven't seen last week's video or the other couple of videos of this project, we will put links in the description of those videos so you can go catch up. This is going to be another lesson from the Pipe Fitters Blue Book that you can find on my website, arosswelding.com, under the Tools tab, along with the soapstone, welding shirts, or anything else that you may have seen me use in any of my videos. We appreciate everyone's support. Just by purchasing something from the store, you are supporting what we do here and we greatly appreciate it. Let's get started. All right, now that we got all of our six inch tacked up, I'm gonna go ahead and make these four welds to these uprights. Two, and then two more down there. I'm not gonna weld these six yet. I do have them tacked. That way everything stays true while, these, while I'm welding these and while these cool off. I don't want these moving or anything. But to haul these to location, I'm gonna end up cutting these tacks and then finishing this piece because I still got a 45 mans and cap it and then load all these three parts on a trailer. One, two, and then the other upright just like this, load it on a trailer and uh, take, it take it to location, lay it back out just like this and then make these six welds on location, pop our holes, stand the bad boy up and we'll be rocking and a rolling. But now let's go ahead and make these welds. Dadgummit, look what I did. I welded the wrong one. <laughs> I was in production mode. I'm just moving on down the line here. Put one pass in there. Luckily, I didn't get the cap on it. Anyway, got these other two welded up. Now I just gotta cut that one. I'm just gonna take a torch and cut it apart and then uh, 
cut these tacks. But before I actually do any of that, I'm gonna go ahead and center punch each end with my center finder and one on the other end. That way I have a reference to how this is rolled in connection to these already. And then I can move this, move this over a little bit to uh, work on it. You know, lay these ends out and go ahead and cut them. Cut a piece of plate to match, weld the plate on, sand it down smooth, and then these bad boys will be ready to be loaded on a trailer. All right, now that we got these welds cut and we can roll this bad boy, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out for this 45. We're gonna put a 45 right across here. And the difference is it's not gonna be saddled to anything. These six inch were saddled at a 45. This one is just going to be a straight cut. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to page 16 in our blue book. 15 and 16 and you can see here that our reference line is going to be in the middle we're going to go we're going to have a reference line and then we're going to go there are two measurements number one and number two but we're going to go on each side of the reference line this time instead of one direction like on these saddles see it actually gives you seven and a half degree nine Eleven and it gives you several different measurements, but we're gonna go down here to the 45. I actually thought about this kind of a side note, but I actually thought about looking at a different angle and seeing if you know I wanted to make it a 22 and a half or a you know something else besides the 45. But for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and lay out a 45 and I just won't cut it yet. And I might look at something else uh, for this project, you know, in case I want it to be. Uh, something else but anyway okay so the two measurements that we're going to need we're going to go down here to size the size of pipe is eight inch and a 45 so eight inch is three and a sixteenth and four and five sixteenths i'm gonna go ahead and write this write these two measurements down i know they're right here in my book but it helps me to remember if i write them down at literally three and a sixteenth and it, i can always check myself four and five sixteenths so it just really helps you put two and two together and you're writing it down so you know that it's one sixteenth not eleven sixteenths you know just really writing it down really helps me uh, remember so three and a sixteenth four and five sixteenths so since i know i'm going to be going four and five sixteenths on on each side of my reference line i know i need four and five sixteenths from the end of the pipe so I'm going to go ahead and mark 4 and 5 sixteenths. And then I'm also going to need 4 and 5 sixteenths on this side. So I'm going to burn inch, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 sixteenths. Uh, but we're going to go, uh, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Instead of 4 and 5 sixteenths, let's go 4 and a half. That way I got enough meat here whenever I cut over here, we're not you know skimping on anything so uh but we know we at least got four and five sixteenths so now we're going to go to on this side one two three four and five sixteenths but that's kind of irrelevant we're going to go ahead and put a wraparound mark right here call this our reference line look who it is look who showed up oh karen showed up when the work's already done thanks thanks a lot karen have you killed any mice today probably not probably not okay so i like that i'm gonna go ahead and mark it mark it mark it mark it hello 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 breaker breaker one nine radio check over Alrighty, now we need to quarter this pipe, and to do that, we'll go this receipt paper route. Paper route, get it? Receipt paper route. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, uh, just for time's sake, this is definitely quicker versus finding the circumference and whatnot. Okie dokie, okie dokie, put that there. Okay. Oh, we need, we need a pocket knife, pocket knife, pocket knife. 
get scatterbrained sometimes, ladies and gents. Put me a line here, cut that bad boy. And then we are ready to fold this in eighths. Trash, don't let her put trash in your rod bucket or toolbox or something. So we're gonna fold this. That's that's half your pipe. This is quarter of your pipe. Quarters. Now one more time will be eighths. So come over here and get my dikes, trim off all these corners. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, uh, whenever we saddled this eight inch right here, we uh, I actually found the circumference and just divided it into eight and then, you know, laid it out that way. This is just a quicker way to do it here. Okay, all right, go ahead and make some marks here. Good mark here, here. Next thing we're gonna do is make a roughly a straight line here. We need to go all the way to the end of the pipe though. Okay. all right now that we've got all of our quarters laid out and we got enough room on each side of our reference line we take our two measurements three and a sixteenth and five and sixteenths and keep in mind zero is going to be in the center of your 45 so since our 45 is going to go like this this is going to be zero because we're making a line right across this way and then the, so the first one is going to be three and a sixteenth. One, two, three, and a sixteenth. And the second one is four and five sixteenths. Four and five sixteenths. So three and a sixteenth, four and five sixteenths. And then right here we're gonna go three or no i'm sorry that's zero that's that's literally zero so this is going to be three and a sixteenth one two three and a sixteenth and this one down here is going to be four and five sixteenths four and five sixteenths and do the same on the bottom side but it's like this video i'm not going to do that yet because i don't have rollers set up but it'll be exactly identical on the other side just roll it 180 and do the same measurements uh, but we'll go ahead and mark this top side so i'm going to connect we're looking for a line right here so we just need to connect all these marks that i just made so i'm going to connect Connect these three. And then these three. So one thing to remember when putting something on each end of one piece of pipe, like I'm putting 45s on each end and I want them to be rolled the same way. This goes for pipeline fabrication also. And that's why I talk about dealing with centers so if you see this punch mark with the two soapstone marks pointing right to it that was supposed to remind me that that's where my line needed to be because that's my very top clearly 
in making this little tutorial, this video. I didn't even pay no attention to that punch mark. I ended up redoing it and everything's fine. But I wanted to mention it since I noticed it while editing that whenever you're doing this on pipe work, make sure to use your center finder, that red thing that I used to find the center. Make a punch mark on each end and then make your lines, your reference lines, parallel with the pipe here, be the same on each end. That way your 45s are exactly the same on each end, if that makes sense. I think of a 45, I think of it like being in a chop saw. I mean, technically this needs to be one straight cut, so it's a little bit different than your saddles over there. So what I'm trying to do is line this up, this wrap around with this line right here, because technically, or in theory, it needs to be straight across from that. Now I am tempted to just connect each one separately and see what it looks like, you know? But I don't know. I'm gonna do that because it's kind of where I'm at right now with my... So yeah, I mean, it looks all right. So there you go. There's your 45. And like I always say, stand back and look at anything that you're doing, especially with pipe, but any project, any metal fabrication product project, stand back and look at it. See if it's appealing to the eye because at the end of the day, that's what, that's what really matters, you know? I mean, it could be square and everything and uh what really matters is how it looks as far as stuff that uh needs to look look good i mean there's obviously certain projects that need to be level for operating purposes and whatnot but anyway there you go now all we got to do is roll this bad boy mark the other side and mark that side and then uh cut them and then we'll make some flat caps for them weld them on and sand them down camo
I'll tell you what, boys, I'll tell you what. That, that, that right there's exciting now. I mean, I mean, that I'm exciting.
My advice for this week is, if you find yourself running late to work on a regular basis, wake up a little earlier. Keep it simple. On another note, if you wanna join my community text, you can text this number right here. This is gonna be your best chance at getting in touch with me firsthand or getting notified whenever we have sales going on in the A-Ross Building Store or whenever something is back in stock or anything else that's announced. This is where you're gonna find out. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember, that's right, learn something every day.